Welcome to Titan TV. I'm Sophia. And I'm Mia. This episode's theme is about kindness. How did you spread kindness this month, Sophia? I spread kindness by helping around my community. That's very kind. Well, I've been helping all I can in school. That's wonderful. Before we hear from our students, let's hear what's new to sign up for. Debate Club is for any Tittle student in Ms. Down's room. They are held every Tuesday at 4.15 to 5. And make sure to keep the school spirit up and mark your calendars because our next pep rally is March 11th. Now, let's pass the mic on to our Titans. How did you enjoy the snow break that we just had? It was really fun. I got to spend time with my friends and also spend time with my family. That's really cool. Uh, it was fun. I went sledding a lot. So how's this school year going so far? It's been great because I'm a sixth grader, so it's like a big school. So what is your favorite candy? Probably Reese's. That's a good choice. I really like Reese's Pieces too. All right. What do you plan on doing over spring break? Staying home. Staying home? So what are you involved in like this year and what are you doing? Oh, I'm in band and theater. I'm in Fiora Choir. That's really neat. What have y'all been doing in choir recently? We've been doing singing new songs and we have been practicing for UAL. Finally, do you have any Valentine's Day traditions? Eating chocolate. Eating chocolate? I feel like everyone should eat chocolate on, on Valentine's Day. Excellent to hear from you, Titans. Of course, but they aren't the only ones to ask. Now, let's hear from our teachers on what they like about Valentine's right. Day. So, who is your celebrity crush? Hmm, probably Leonardo DiCaprio. So, you know who that is? No. Um, he was in the Titanic. Titanic. Oh. He was the one who died. Um, I have a lot. Oh. I have <laughs> too many to name. <laughs> My celebrity crush is Chris Evans from the Marvel movies. I love Captain America. Dude, who are you spending your Valentine's Day with? I am spending my Valentine's Day with my husband and my two boys. Oh. So I guess, you know, my three men. That's sweet. <laughs> um, probably my husband and my crazy three children. <laughs> what is your go-to Valentine's Day gift? Sometimes I'm bad and I don't get him anything. Oh. Um, but here lately he has been liking Legos. So, I buy the really big, huge Legos. I love giving Girl Scout cookies because I don't feel like people give them out very often, and I don't know anybody who doesn't have a favorite Girl Scout cookie. What makes you feel loved? Uh, just people showing me their appreciation and hugs. My husband likes to always buy me um, Tiff's treats, so I usually get cookies and balloons and some Dr. Peppers. I love receiving kind notes or cards. I save every single card I get, birthday, Valentine's Day, what have you, and I save them in a little box and I go back and read them when I need to feel that love. Sounds great. What fun interviews. Speaking of both our teachers and students, there are two special people we would like to shine the spotlight on. Erin Lee was our Spelling Bee Champion, and Miss Jessica Alexander was our Teacher of the Year. I got to personally sit down with Miss Alexander. And one of our Titan TV interviewers sat down with Erin. Let's hear what they have to say. Hi, I'm Roman with Titan TV, and I'm here with... Erin Lee. Thank you. Do you remember what the winning word was of the Spelling Bee? Um, I think it was catabatic. Wow, that's a pretty big word. Uh, how, many, how long did you study for? That's late. Um, how many rounds did y'all go to win? Um, four or five. That's really neat. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mia from Titan TV, and I'm here with... Miss Alexander. What do you teach? I teach Robotics 1 and Medical Terminology. There are two high school classes for 7th and 8th graders. That's amazing. Next, how did you get into teaching? Um, I had some crazy, cool teachers who were very loud and funny, and... Did I say crazy? I hope so. Um, because, and they kind of showed me the way to love teaching and working with kids and seeing their love for learning. That's very inspirational. Next, what is your favorite part about teaching? Um, I've been lucky enough to actually have students for three years now. So seeing my students even within one year and how much growth they have and seeing the potential adult that they're becoming has been 
I think my favorite because I get to see them as a full human. Next, how does it feel to win Teacher of the Year? Um, it was shocking, but it was it was very it was a humbling experience because I'm lucky enough to work with some amazing people and a lot of people that I've been able to go up to and say, I don't know, am I losing my mind? Is this activity actually fun, or is it just me, or do my kids think it's boring? And so they've been, I think, a pinnacle to how I've gotten here today. Well, thank you for our interview. Of course, thank you. All right, guys, this is for my students who asked me multiple times to get in the oven. Congratulations. Great job representing our school. But let's not forget about our Teacher of the Month, Alicia Hughes, and our Staff Member of the Month, Miss Love. We also have Landita recognized as our Byron Nelson Territory Employee of the Month. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication. Now, let's hear from Katie and Ellie about fine arts. And from Courtney and Ariana with sports. Thanks, Sophia and Mia. Hi, I'm Ellie. And I'm Katie, and we are here from Trying TV with fine arts announcements. Let's start with art. Art has had some great work this year, such as their clay hearts for Valentine's Day. They are pretty cute. We have very talented artists here on campus. Yes, we do. What is this choir up to? Choir will be busy in the next couple of weeks. They have pre UIL on the 17th and a preview concert on the 24th. And UIL competitions March 2nd through the 4th. Wow, they will be busy. Hey, Ellie, what about the orchestra? Orchestra has a UIL competition coming up on February 22nd. Good luck, Titan Strings. Our Titan Band UIL events last quite a bit longer. The wind and symphonic ensembles will be competing in UIL in the month of March. That's quite a long time, but we know you will make us proud. Finally, the theater has a UIL one act play contest at Northwest High School on February 26th at 11 a.m. They are performing The Lost Boy, the story of how Peter, Peter Pan was created. If you can't make that a performance, they have a free public performance tonight, February 18th. Here at Tidwell at 6 p.m. Break a leg, cast and crew. We wish all of our fine arts the best of luck. Now let's hand the mic off to Ariana and Courtney with sports announcements. I'm Courtney and I'm Ariana. Sadly, our basketball season has come to an end. The guys' basketball team show hard work on and off the court. Coach Bailey says this, this year's basketball season taught us a lot about adversity. We started the season out very well, and when the season turned up, the boys continued to come every morning and got better through hard work and dedication. We thank everyone for the support this season, and the coaching staff wishes all the players to try in high school great success. The girls' basketball team got far at least and showed a lot of improvement. They even went through some of the toughest teams in the district. Thank you coaches, players, and fans for another great season. This means track season is just getting started. Trials just passed and everyone did great, and we would like to congratulate the 21-22 track athletes. The first track meet is in about a week, so mark your calendars, folks. Best of luck to everyone competing in the track meet. Thank you, Fine Arts and Sports. But before we go, we have a couple more announcements. Current 8th graders, are you interested in joining the Byron Nelson Color Guard team? Color Guard is a Fine Arts credit and also counts as a PE credit. Color Guard is described as a family like no other. You learn, you learn fun and new things like communication and leadership skills. You get to perform at school events throughout the year. Sign-ups for the class are open now. If you have any questions, email kristen.silva at nisdtx.org. That sounds super fun. But there is one more thing to talk about. Here's a hint. It's about an organ that pumps about 2,000 gallons of blood. The heart? Yes. The American Heart Association is raising awareness and life-saving funds by holding an American Heart Challenge on February 25th. What's the challenge? Students will form teams of four and compete in 60-second challenges. Oh, I've heard of that. The top two teams get to play stick it to you with Mr. Barnhart. Yes, that's right. The winning team will get the title Legends of the Heart. How do we get to compete? It's pretty simple. You just download the American Heart Challenge app and start getting donations. The top 20 students are automatically on a team. Use the QR codes on the screen to access more information and sign up. Make sure to do this quick because they're picking teams on February 24th. Good luck, Titans. We're all rooting for you. Well, I think this about wraps up our sixth episode. It's already been six episodes? It sure has. It's all possible by your Spotlight Theater class and support from you all. That's right. This is Titan TV signing off. Have a good day, Titans.